All right, everyone, it is Sunday evening, and we are back in the shed. I had pulled some orders, and my wife pulled some for me, too. Um, we only have 13 items going out as of right now. It's a Sunday evening, and we're going to ship this stuff out tomorrow. Um, this is uh, almost three full days' worth of stuff. Um, sales are a little slow right, right now on eBay and Macari and Poshmark and um, our Amazon sales kind of slacked off a little bit. Um, we had some items pending over on Amazon and for some reason those dropped off. We had some socks that were pending for like four or five days up there and then they just canceled out. So I don't know what happened there, but um, I hope if you're selling on eBay that yours are going a little bit better than mine. Now, something we have done different is we were listing at least five items per day, and our draft bank got kind of got kind of low, and life was happening, and we had other stuff to do, so we were not able to list as much. So what we did was we dropped down to two to three listings per day, and I'm wondering if that is what has happened. So maybe it is, maybe not. Comment down below if you think that's what's happening, but... I'm going to start telling y'all what did sell. First item up, um, it is hunting season right now in eastern North Carolina anyways. It probably is in a lot of other areas in this state and other states. But this is a hunting item called a, easy, a real tree easy hanger. We picked these up at Walmart last year for $5 each. And, you know, they're lightweight. They'll ship super cheap. Um, I, I think this is the first one we've sold but <clears throat> we picked these up let's see the clearance tag on it says 1231 of 21 so apparently we picked these up right at the end of the year or the beginning of this year uh, you know walmart always clearances a bunch of stuff after hunting season just like they do for every season but um these sold for 19 dollars with free shipping over on mercari and that is our only mercari sale um, for today and they'll ship out first class, so um, $5 plus, what, $4 to ship it, and then it was $2.75. We're not making a killing off of those things, but, hey, we're making a little bit of money. We made a sale, keeping things going. Next up, we have one item going out over on Poshmark. I picked these, I picked these shoes up recently at a yard sale. It was a Saturday when I was not planning on doing a yard sale. We had a bunch of stuff going on, and um, I was going to put a mailbox up for a lady, and I drove by a yard sale on my way there. And I decided to stop, and I picked up two pairs of shoes. I think one um, was a pair of Kings, and the other was this pair of Merle boots right here. Um, and these are waterproof boots with uh, the Vibram soles on the bottom. And these things, y'all, are in like new condition. Um, they even have that new smell still. And um, there's no wear on them whatsoever. And these are a size uh, 9 women's. And let's see if there's a name on these things. Um... I don't know. The The number for them is J06052. But most of the time there's a name on them, but I don't see any anywhere on it. But anyways, these things are like brand new, y'all. And I've had a couple people ask me questions about them. Um, and I answered the questions. And I'm not sure if this, this person was one to ask. But these shoes sold for $35 and the buyers paying the shipping over there on uh, Poshmark. So $35, the fee is $7, and the buyer's paying $7.67. So <clears throat> let's see, $7 fee, I paid $4 for them, so that's 11 from 35 so making like $24 on those, I can't argue with that. Now, this one here, we picked up a bunch of these things at Walmart last year for like $3, I think it was, um, and... I believe this is the last one we, we have. I think we had black, gray, and a couple of red ones. But it's this uh, dual shock controller grip. It's just a silicone grip that goes over the controller. And it sold for $13.79 with free shipping. And it is super light. 
it'll go out of here first class. This one right here, my wife picked this up at a Goodwill at somewhere at the beach, I believe it was. I think her and my, her and my daughter went on a like a girl's trip and they went thrifting and they found this shirt right here. It's a base layer foot joy shirt. Um, it's a size extra large. And I've told y'all about Foot Joy before. It is a golf apparel brand. And they have shoes and hats and shirts and pants. And she paid $3.89 for this at a Goodwill. And it sold for $25.35. Super lightweight. We already have it bagged. It's going to go in another poly bag. And we're going to ship this thing out first class. And my wife, my wife found these really cool... Um, poly bags that I'm probably going to ship that in. I've been shipping stuff out in these recently, but just for fall, they they are the they have these, you know, real bright red and orange uh, leaves on them, and on the back of it, it actually says, thank you. And just, you know, they don't cost but a couple of cent more than just a plain, you know, blue or green or white poly bag, but little things like this, People like it. People will remember you. They might start following you on eBay. They might they might save you as one of their favorite sellers. And this is I guess it's just a way for you to stand out from everybody else. You know, anybody can ship in a white bag or a blue bag or something like that. But you send them a polka dot bag or something with flamingos on it or those leaves like that, you know, and maybe just maybe they'll remember you. This game here I picked up at a church rummage sale a while back. If y'all been following along my videos, then you probably saw it. Um, I have about 50 cent in this game, and it is Halo Combat Evolved. And this is a PC game, and it is in really good condition. There's no scratches on this disc. Um, the buyer left us, left us a note on this one. It says, please do not include a receipt uh, with the package and add a tracking number once you ship. Thank you. I'm assuming this is probably going to be a gift. And uh, they paid $13.99 for that. And that little thing right there will ship out super cheap. I'll probably take and just sandwich it in some, uh, some thick cardboard, put a little bit of bubble wrap around it and i might just stick it in a bubble mailer these shoes right here i'm pretty sure these are my daughter's shoes they are uh dance jazz slip-on shoes they're a girl size four and a half and they sold for fifteen dollars and 38 cent i mean that's something you might could find at a yard sale somewhere for 50 cent and turn around and sell it on eBay for 15 bucks. This is a DVD. Uh, D <laughs> this is a VHS that I picked up last late fall or winter. I picked up a big old box of VHS from a lady. And this one right here, it has a wrapper on it. it it's sealed, but check these things out when you pick them up. Um, a lot of people might have just looked at this and listed it as new. But it's not new. It's been resealed, but it actually has a rental um, store tag on the end of it. And it's the video of Washington. So this was a former rental. If you look in your item uh, description or your item specifics on eBay, most of the time on VHS, there is a little column in there that you can put former rental. And, you know, it does decrease the value, but... I bought these things, y'all. I have way less than a dollar in each one of them. I probably got 50 cents in each one of them. But uh, this one is Marvin's Room. It's got Leonardo DiCaprio. It's got uh, Diane Keaton, Meryl Streep, and Robert De Niro in it. And it sold for a whopping $5.99. Um, it will ship uh, media mail, which is, I don't even know, like three forty nine dollars 49 or something like that. So not, not really making a whole lot of money off of it, if I even made anything. Next up, um, we've sold a few of these here recently. And this is, or these are, I should say, some socks that we picked up at Walmart a while back for $5.50. They're Grateful Dead socks. There's six pair in here. And we've sold quite a few of these things. 
and um, this was the last one I had listed. And I don't know what happened there because when I when I climbed up there on the loft and pulled the tote, um, there were actually two of these in there. And I'm wondering if somebody, if we had one returned or somebody canceled and we didn't change the quantity on eBay, but I don't know. But these things sold for $20.95 free shipping. We put these in a big uh, bubble mailer. Uh, one of these right here, actually. One of these bubble mailers right here. And I put it in, close it, and then I fold the sides over on it just to give it a little bit more protection. And I haven't had any issues with them so far. And y'all, I do not remember what I paid for these things right here. I'm going to guess I'm, I might have 50 cent each in them. But they are silicone baby pacifiers. It's two packs, three pacifiers in each pack. Um, and they're the Nook brand, N-U-K. And they sold for $9.98. And the buyer is paying the first class shipping on that. And so not making a whole bunch of money. But hey, we're making money. We probably made, I don't know, $7 off of that. Here's one I almost passed up. Um, a lot of times I do not pick up uh, Tupperware. It has to kind of be something that catches my eye for me to pick it up. Um, and most of these clear ones don't really catch my eye. The only clear ones or white ones that I normally look at are like your little salt and pepper shakers. Those things sell really well. But this one right here, y'all, um, I don't remember what I paid for it. Yeah, you know, I have in there a question mark, but 50 cent. So maybe 50 cent in that. Um, probably bought it in a boat buy or something. But this one right here is 1529-9. And the top is, I'm going to have to take it off so I can see it. The top is 1530-13. Um, and this is a one quart juice pitcher is what it's labeled as um, and it actually sold for $14.99 with free shipping this thing only weighs five ounces y'all it, it will definitely ship out of here first class now this one right here I kind of took a chance on this one because I couldn't find any good comps on it when I was in the thrift store um, and I'm probably going to butcher this guy's name here because I'm not I'm not real familiar with him, so I don't know how to pronounce it. But I picked this little uh, posable figure up for a dollar seventy five at a local thrift store, and it's a Chicago Bears player, and his name is Brian. I don't know if that's your locker or your Laker. I don't know how in the world you pronounce his name, but. I, like I said, I really didn't know what this was worth. I was hoping maybe $20. Um, turns out I was close. It sold for $18.99 with free shipping, and it is light enough it will go out first class. Now, these here took a while to sell, but I pick a lot of these things up. Um, and, you know, I pick them up because maybe later on i will pick up a vacuum cleaner or some parts for a vacuum cleaner and this might help me make a sale um, but i listed them even without a vacuum cleaner this is these are filters for a shop vac and the type is e and that's about all i know about it um the part number is 90661 and i think i paid like a dollar for these things y'all and they sold for $15.99 free shipping. I'm going to throw these in a poly, uh, not a poly mailer, but I'm going to throw these in a bubble mailer and send them out of here. The last one of the day. This is probably our, this might be our best sale. It probably is. Between this and those uh, Merle boots, um, those are our two biggest sellers today. We picked this item right here up at a yard sale for $3 and sold it over on Amazon for $51.25. And we still have the $3 price tag from the yard sale on it. And it is the original Doodle Bear. It says 25th anniversary. Like I said, it's still brand new. Um, it still has the markers and all in it. And 
this thing is from 20 or 2020 2020 so it's actually two years old but it's still brand new and like i said it sold for 51 dollars and 25 cent on amazon that's why we sell on amazon because if you put this on ebay you could probably get twenty dollars for it and that's it i remember looking comps up and comps were around twenty to twenty five dollars but we were still going to buy it for three bucks and then we got home and my wife was looking on Amazon and she saw it and she said, you know what? I'm going to list it up there. And she did. And it took, I don't know, two and a half months or so for it to sell. But it was worth waiting for. Um, if it didn't sell on Amazon, what we could have done since it's getting closer to Christmas is maybe, you know, toward the end of November or something, um, keep it on Amazon, list it on eBay and see if it sells. I mean, if it sells on one platform, you can always take it off the other one. All right, y'all. Um, that's all I got for you today. There really, really is not that much going out of here unless uh, between now and, say, 9 o'clock this evening, some more folks buy some things. But it is already uh, 7.21 p.m., so I'm getting right to pack this stuff up, and I'm going in the house for tonight because i got to go back to work tomorrow. All right, y'all, welcome back in the shed. Um, we have two days worth of orders here, uh, and we are, I think we're at $477 in gross sales for these two days, and we have one item pending on Amazon for another $16 or $17, so we're going to be very close to $500 today going out. Um, we have sales on every platform that we sell on, Amazon, eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. Um, and a couple of them are good ones, a couple of them not so good. But let's get started. We're going to kick it off over on Amazon with the only item that is still pending right now. And this is a small one, and this is something that my wife just listed recently. Um, and it is one of uh, her false graph bowls, a small like cereal bowl. And I don't know, she's got a buck or two in this thing. She bought a huge lot of that stuff and it's pending but if it sells before the evening's over it will go out tomorrow for sixteen dollars and forty cent for that little bowl right there now this one is a multi-quantity sale and it is some sharpies that we picked up from walmart last year for a dollar each and like i said we sold two of them and they sold for $13.99 each. So I'm holding my hand $28 worth of markers, y'all. And we have two bucks in them. And I think they're light enough. They feel like they, I'm going to guess, I'm going to say, I'm going to say these weigh eight ounces. I was a little off. It was 9.2 ounces, but close enough. They'll ship out first class. And our last item over on Amazon is something my wife picked up recently at Walmart. She got a few of these. Y'all probably can't see them, but they're up there on the uh, on the loft back there. And I believe there's four more up there. But she paid six dollars for these and they are kinder mats you now these are little you know cushion child mats for them to lay on take a nap play on you can use them as a changing station all grades of different stuff but this thing surprisingly is light enough i think it was just over 14 ounces it's light enough that it will ship out first class we'll probably just put it in a poly bag and send it out of here um, it sold for $24 on Amazon. Let's move over to, we'll go over to Poshmark because I only have one sale over there today. This is a used item that sold over on Poshmark. And I picked this up at that living estate sale I went to a while back. And I couldn't tell you what I have in it. A couple of dollars. Um, I don't know. I may even have three or four dollars in this but it is a two handset answering system uh, so you got a base with the answering system on it and a remote um phone it's at&t and the if you want to know the model number is cl82229 and this was in good working condition and it sold for 18 dollars and the buyer is paying the $7.67 priority shipping over there on Poshmark. It looks like we have 
four items over on Macari, and uh, two of those items are coats. Actually, it may be five items over there, but we'll get started and we'll see. First up is a set of DVD, uh, DVDs, a set of CDs. Um, this is uh, Focus on the Family Presents Adventures in Odyssey. This is volume one, and I believe it is a four disc set. And I paid, I think it was $1.50 for these at uh, the Hope of Glory 3, after which I hit on lunch all the time, at, you know, during my work, work lunch hour, sorry. But this sold on Macari for $13. Um, it will ship out media mail, so it's going to be less than like $4. And like I said, I got a buck fifty in it. So making a little bit of money there, y'all. I picked these things up at a yard sale, y'all. And I don't know how many of these things I got. Um, I'm just going to guess and say there was like 12 of these little things. And there's two in this lot. And I paid a book for the whole lot that I got from those folks. They were really trying to get rid of them. But this is Nickelodeon Video Nail. Um, these are some kind of like DVDs or something. Some kind of discs that only play with the Video Nail system. And this one is a two-pack of SpongeBob. Um, and... I had no idea these things were worth anything, y'all. I had never heard of them until I saw them at that yard sale. But these two right here sold for $25 free shipping over there on Mercari. Keep your eye out for video nail discs. Apparently, some of them are worth a lot of money. Next. This is another lot of two of video nail discs. And I'm going to have to look and see if the same person bought both of these. Um, it didn't put them in the same order on Macari, but I can't remember ever having anybody order two different items from me on Macari. So I'm going to have to look into that. But like I said, these are two video nail discs. This one is Danny Phantom, and the other one is Jimmy Neutron. And these sold for only $13 uh, with free shipping. And they'll obviously ship out first class, so they're going to cost me like four dollars or less to ship so i was wrong it was only one coat over there on mccory i thought i had two over there coat here you wouldn't think would sell for this much because it's a youth coat but it is a carhartt jacket it is a uh, black hooded carhartt jacket it's a medium 10 to 12 youth size and it's in really good condition um doesn't really have any wear on it and i bought this thing at a yard sale um, for $5. It was a little community yard sale in a subdivision, and that was back uh, back in the spring. You know, spring is a great time to pick up this off-season clothing. As you're going to see, I have three jackets that have sold today, and all three of those jackets were bought when it was hot outside. So don't snooze on that, y'all. Thrift stores, yard sales, garage sales and stuff, buy those jackets when they're really cheap, and then sell them when the price is higher on them. But pay five bucks for it at a yard sale. It sold on Macari for $45 with free shipping. We have 10 items left to go, y'all, and these are all over on eBay. The first one is this Cookie Monster here. Cookie Monster plush with a, with a little elf hat on them or Santa hat. Um, don't know what we paid for this, probably like a dollar, um, maybe even 50 cent, who knows. But this thing sold for $13, and the buyer is paying the shipping on this one. Super easy to ship these plush, y'all. Just throw them in a poly bag and send them out. This is a great sale right here because this person bought two of these, so they are going to save us some money on shipping. Um, we have $11 in these Sesame Street socks that we got from Walmart. You can see the tag still on that one for $5.50 on clearance and they were marked clearance um like i said we got eleven dollars in these and they sold for forty one dollars and ninety cent over on ebay and like i said we're going to save money by shipping these things together this is a great flip right here too and um i i got this jacket right here 
at a yard sale at a Dairy Queen. It's like a pop-up yard sale. Um, this lady and her husband come up there with their trailer. Um, another guy comes up there, throws some tarps out. He's got a trailer. Another lady popped up there with some tarps and stuff on the ground. And I picked up some stuff from all of them that day. But these folks, I picked up a VCR, some Ziploc bags, um, and this jacket and something else. And y'all, I paid them three bucks. And I think I sold that VCR for $20 plus shipping. And uh, the Ziploc bags I kept for myself, um, We, I have some of them sitting over here on my hall tree where I can put, you know, just random stuff in while I'm out here in the shed. But this right here is a Nestle Nesquik jacket. And like I said, I paid three bucks for this, a VCR and some Ziploc bags, y'all. And this right here on its own, so for $43.12, and the buyer is paying the shipping on that. Great pickup. Keep your eye out for that jacket, y'all. Or a similar jacket. And here's the last jacket that sold. And um, we picked this up um, New Year's. We went to, uh, we took a trip up to Bush Gardens in Virginia, and we went there for the New Year's uh, uh, fireworks and stuff. And the next day when we left, we were on the way home. We were hitting thrift, store, thrift stores on the way home, and we hit a local one there, and we picked up this jacket. The cool thing about this jacket is, right here, it says Bush Gardens Christmas Town on it. It's a size extra large, and I don't have in there what we paid for it, but I'm pretty sure I paid $10 for this jacket. I didn't want to pay $10 because I knew it was going to be a while before it sold. And it was. It sat in here since New Year's of last year until now. And it sold for $46. And the buyer's paying the shipping on it. Super easy to ship. I'm just going to throw this in a poly bag and send it out of here, y'all. And here's a shirt that I didn't mind picking up because this is actually my size. I wear an extra large tall when I can find a tall. Um, but this is a Duluth trading shirt. And if you don't know about the Duluth Trading Company, y'all, they make some awesome clothing. They cost a little bit, but they make some awesome jackets, shirts, pants, and just about everything they make that I've ever tried is good. Um, not sure what we got in this. Um, you know, three or four bucks, I guess. Um, I'm just guessing. But this sold for $27.16. So keep your eye out for that name, Duluth Trading Company. If you have been watching my videos for a while, you saw where I took some shoes that I had and I used some Dr. Martin's balm to clean up these shoes. And I, I was trying to show y'all how you would clean up some leather shoes to get rid of some of the scuffs on them, to make them look a little better, to maybe make you a little bit more money. Well, y'all, these shoes I picked up at Goodwill have finally sold. And these things had scuffs all over them, and they were kind of dried out looking and faded. And I've cleaned I've cleaned them all up. And y'all, if y'all saw the video, um, it didn't take me very long to clean these things. I think I had five or six minutes in each one of them, and paid three sixty nine for these at a Goodwill, and they sold for twenty eight dollars and forty nine cent. And the buyer's paying the shipping on that. These are super easy to ship, y'all. I take and put them like that right there. And I put them in a little clear poly bag, and then I stick them in a priority um, shoe box. Next up is some more socks that we picked up from Walmart. These were $5.50, just like those Sesame Street ones. These are the Grateful Dead six pair, sold for $19.90 with free shipping. I don't know anything about this item right here. Um, and I believe we picked this item up on that same Bush Gardens trip, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. And this came from a thrift store. I do not know what my wife paid for. It is not in here under the custom skew what she paid for this thing. But it amazed me what it sold for. This is a Kilner quart jar uh, butter churner mixer, whatever you want to call it. It's got the little hand crank on the side. This thing looks, it looks brand new, y'all. It may have been used, but maybe once or twice, if that. But y'all, you'd be amazed what this right here sold for. This thing sold 
for $49.99 and the buyer is paying the shipping on that. They are all in for this little butter mixer churner for $62.85. Bolo, keep your eye out for that one. And this is a small one, but it's a good profit item. Um, I love picking picking up ink, whether it be Canon or HP or, or whatever. Um, if you can find this ink, y'all, at Walmart or at yard sales and stuff for like a buck or two, um, scan it, you know, just take your eBay app and scan the back of that thing. Um, and sometimes it's worth picking up two or three and putting them in a lot together. Maybe you had like, you know, a blue, a magenta and a yellow put together or something, but this one right here sold for $15 and 35 cents free shipping, super easy to ship. Um, I just fold that piece back. I put it in a little bubble mailer like this and ship it out of here first class. I may even wrap, put another uh, wrap of bubble wrap around it before I put it in there, but that's how I do it. Now for the last item of the day, and this was a super cheap one that I picked up at a church rummage sale. I have 50 cent in this. It is a Linux ornament and it's still in the original box and it still has the styrofoam which makes it uh, a whole lot better for shipping y'all it's just this little it's a little like porcelain tree pretty cool but pay 50 cent for it y'all and that thing sold for 17 dollars and nine cent with free shipping and of course it is a first class item and it would be super easy to ship. I'll probably put that in like a four by four by six box and send it out of here first class. I haven't really given y'all an update recently on um, how my T-Mobile home internet's doing. And you know, some of you probably might not have been here before, so you have no idea what I'm talking about. But a while back, we got um, a T-Mobile home internet like base and it costs us $50 a month. It's an auto pay thing. There's no contract involved with it. And I'm not paid to tell you all this, but I'm just here to tell you that we still have that unit in the house and we are three, four months into it, maybe even five months into this now. And that thing is still giving us pretty consistent speeds every day. Our upload and download speeds are still about the same. Um, download, we're getting around 60 and uploads we're still getting 20 to 30. Um, occasionally we'll drop out of that 5G and it'll move over to 4G, but we still get over 20 gigs of, um, of upload. And the best thing about this y'all is the price stays the same constantly. It's $50 every month. There's no tax added on it or anything like that. It's auto pay and the very best part, it's unlimited data. Um, every month we are seeing somewhere between 300 and about 350 gigabytes of data that we're using and it's costing us absolutely nothing. Um, I'm not, I'm not really using it that much out here in the shed because I'm trying to get that Wi-Fi signal from 80 feet from that base in the house to out here just wasn't working out great. We were only getting like speeds of like three, like three mega, megabits per second or something like that out here. But y'all, that might be something you want to look into. I don't know if you live in a rural area like we do, but we're kind of out here in the boonies, y'all. I mean, my nearest town is like eight miles from here, and um, we can't get cable here. And DSL, we're at the end of the line for that, so it's like one and a half meg speed. It's terrible. Um, a mile through the woods that way is cable on the, on two two roads over from us. And over there, um, it's like 120 meg. It, it's awesome speeds, but we can't get that. T-Mobile home internet is the best we have found so far. So um, that might be something you wanna look into if you're out in a rural area. And like I said, I'm not paid by T-Mobile to say that, but I'm just throwing out tips to try to help y'all um, maybe get a little bit better service and save you some money. Who couldn't save a little bit of money right now, y'all? Um, inflation's at an all-time high. Folks are starting to get laid off. I'm not a doom and gloom guy, but I mean, I just tell people facts. You know, um, nothing's getting any cheaper. So get what you can for free. Get what you can for a small price. And speaking of free, 
Did I mention that subscribing to this channel doesn't cost you anything? <laughs> Shame, shameless plug right there, y'all. But thank y'all for being here. I hope you got something from the content. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Click the notification bell so you get notified every time I put up a new video about what sold on all four of these platforms. Thank y'all. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. My wife and I were in here packaging everything up, and we had something else that just sold and it is this Micronta battery tester. I picked this up at a uh, garage sale, and I don't remember what I paid for this thing. Um, yep, I paid ten dollars for this, and it sold for twenty-five dollars and ninety-nine cent with free shipping. And it weighs nine ounces, so it will go out of here first class shipping for around four bucks. All right.